on the last episode of Onboard Lifestyle. We didn't waste any time and met our haul-out goals by day six. The crew worked hard during the days, but still made time to enjoy the cooler La Cruz evenings. I can't come if you can't in. With basic all set to splash, that's where we will pick up our story. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see So, Captain, does it feel good to be back on the water? Our bottom's wet. <laughs> Emma's just like, why? Yeah. So far, so good. It feels nice, right? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we're in good shape. Well, it feels good to be clean down there for sure. I mean, it's just like polished perfect, so the well, now, look good. Now we have to uh, match our bottom and our top. It has to be clean too. That's our next project. Emma, you happy to be back on board? Definitely. Lonely wind is passing by. Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds. Okay, we just pulled straight into a slip, launched about a half hour ago. We're just gonna be here for probably 15 hours. We're just gonna rinse the boat, get her cleaned up, uh, make sure we're good on fuel, and then head out first thing in the morning. The girls are busy up here, just scrubbing away. Boy, that yard was dirty. Bay right now. We left La Cruz this morning at 8 o'clock and I gotta say well, we didn't get a lot of wind just a little breeze just to put a sail up to look pretty so we're motor sailing along you know it's a 62 mile run 
that we want to get into Mantachin in uh, the daytime. We're talking to some friends that just uh, left here and there was uh, quite a bit of uh, nets and pots and traps all across the entrance. So we're keeping a sharp, sharp eye out and uh, well, we made in plenty of time. You know, we've made a good time for a reason. In the past, our Kiwi props, I feel like they've been under pitched this whole time because in flat conditions like this, we maybe get four and a half, five knots if we're real lucky, but four and a half is about what we could average with those. That's with both engines going. So we played with the, the pitch and uh, increased it just a little bit. And we did that when we were on the hard the other day. And so this was our first shakedown. And I gotta say, I am impressed. Just that little tweak, we're doing seven knots now. And uh, this is gonna be much easier to make some ground when the wind's not blowing. Oh, so that's a relief. Just uh, felt good about it. It uh, feels different on the boat. It's just, I don't know, there's like little rooster tails coming off the back now. Same engines, same propellers, just uh, changed the pitch slightly. I think we're in a good position now. Okay, we're about 20 minutes away. I can see that there's three boats in here already. And uh, this is that bay where we'll anchor right out in the middle. Get away from uh, the no seams and mosquitoes. But it's always nice here. <laughs> First off, aren't you glad to be back on the hook? It's nice, but... No. I slept like a baby last night. I know. Not to say that the other place wasn't good, but you, there's nothing like your own bed. But now, we don't have unlimited water. <laughs> so, I'm busting out the water maker, and it's been six weeks since we used it. It's been hot out, so we pickled uh, the system before uh, we left. And we couldn't make water when we were in the bay because it's no, just... No, too brackish, too... I mean, just it was red tides and awful there, so we pickled it and stored it. So this is kind of new for me. We're going to unpickle it and uh, get it going now. Uh, reading the manual, it looks pretty simple, but let's just make some water and find out. My beautiful rain man. The water maker, not you. I know, I think. Water is full, which means we get to get caught up on some laundry between us going home to renew our visas and coming back and getting hauled out. We kind of got a little behind on our boat work. So in order for us to play hard, you got to work hard. And right now we're in work hard mode. Emma is working hard to finish up her schoolwork. So it's time for me to feed the crew. Alright, so eat up because uh, this is the last of the shrimp on board. Don't worry, we're heading to Mazalan tomorrow. That's the shrimp capital of Mexico. I think it's of the world, I'm not no, sure. No, I don't think so, but mm. you get a lot of shrimp there. When we get internet again, I'm going to Google that. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. And healthy.
It is departure day for us. We are leaving Mantachin Bay and heading further north towards Mazatlan. It's gonna be a 130 mile run. And uh, this was actually a planned stop for us. Uh, this was a working stop actually, because most of our friends have already at this point um, crossed over the Sea of Cortez into the Baja side. But we wanted to peel off and take this opportunity to get caught up on some editing and get some schoolwork done and just kind of decompress a little bit. It's nice for us to always travel with a group of friends, but sometimes you just gotta, you gotta stop and do a little bit of uh, alone time. So this was nice. As much as we like the seclusion, I am... Um, battling all the no seams and mosquitoes because even even this far out oh my gosh we are eating alive so teal is uh hauling up the anchor and it is time for us to head out it should take us about at this at this pace let's say five and a half knots it'll take us about 24 hours, 24 hours. so we should be there first thing tomorrow morning should be a nice uh benign sail. It's going to be stagnant for a little bit and then the wind's going to pick up and then who knows, hopefully it, it pulls us right into the night and we can have a nice uh, sail to Mazatlan. What do you think? Can't wait to get there. She just wants to get over to the Baja side at this point because uh, we're excited to see some clear uh, clear waters for sure. Waiting for a sign to show me my way the only point I reach is frustration And then back again, then back again Trying, trying to see why I had to Okay, putting out our hand line Today's the day Got a new cedar plug Feeling lucky If I get it untangled Okay, here we go. Put this on. We're doing about six knots, so that's like a, a sweet spot for, for fishing. Here we go, let me get the thing out. Go on the moon with your heart and then back again, then back again. Hey, hey. Flat seas out here. Got a little bit of a headwind to start the day. It's gonna be uh, about five, six hours of uh, motoring. And then uh, we wanna get out uh, far enough offshore that when we turn uh, to north, we should have a, a nice reach for about seven hours until the wind dies off overnight. So our plan is uh, make some headway now and then relax all afternoon with no engines. Are you dreaming of love soon? Are you still in your shadow? trying to take on more responsibilities, so I'm starting to do night shifts. 
I'm doing the first shift of the night. My parents are getting some rest right now. So I'm doing the 8 to 10 shift right now. The winds are dying down a bit, so we took the sails down and we're running one engine. We don't want to get there too fast because we don't want to get there like in the dark. So we're, we're way over halfway, so we're 64 miles away-ish right now. So we'll be there in the morning. Okay, it is now my shift. Emma has gone to bed. She's been a pretty good trooper, taking on more and more responsibilities. But we are now about 20 miles offshore and uh, well over halfway to the Mazatlan. So, so far, so good. No hiccups and no surprises, which is great. This is a nice passage. And uh, we are uh, excited to uh, get there as soon as the sun rises. Even though it's pretty warm out, I always seem to want to put on more clothes in the evenings just because I'm always scared to uh, get a chill with the, with the humidity and everything and the slight breeze. You just never know. I'm going to have myself a uh, tea and kick back and listen to my audio book until it's time for Jill to take his shift. Okay, it's my shift now. Midnight at 2. The engine's just uh, purred along. We're running our starboard engine right now. Uh, it's just at 2,000 RPMs. Just trying to time this uh, correctly to hit uh, port in daylight. We don't want to go too fast. Just running one engine all night, we're only going to sip about well, a little less than half a gallon an hour. So that means this entire uh, evening, from uh, let's see, from sunset to sun up, we're going to burn less than five gallons of fuel total. You know, there's uh, not much wind right now. Pretty typical. It's like down to nothing. The seas are still a little choppy, and they'll lay down here. Uh, by morning, I'm sure it'll be all glass smooth. With a little bit of chop, you get a little hobby horse, and which uh, slows our speed down a little bit. Especially with one engine, we don't have as much torque and keeping the boat moving. So we'll just deal with it. But everything's looking good. We are uh, still about 20 miles offshore. And uh, the shoreline is creeping closer to us. We're 45 miles to go. The Mazatlan is uh, in our sight. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel. These videos would not be possible without the support of our amazing patrons. Thank you guys! If you would like to join our crew, the link is down below. With our haul out done, we are now ready to start our trek north and explore the Sea of Cortez. Come back next week as we arrive in Mazatlan. See you then!